Local and regional representatives from around Europe gather in Brussels for two days of intensive debating on how to make a sound recovery from the economic crisis. On the first day of this 99th plenary session of the Committee of the Regions, COR First Vice President Mercedes Bresso had the honour to welcome Ireland's Minister for European Affairs Lucinda Creighton. Our programme reflects the views expressed by all partners that the programme should focus on stability, growth and jobs for our citizens. To tackle in particular youth unemployment, the COR called on EU ministers to guarantee all young people up to 30 years old a quality employment, education or training opportunity. As part of its contribution to the current European Year of Citizens, the Committee of the Regions proposed concrete measures to strengthen EU citizenship and foster the development of European dimension with regional and local politics. In that context, the opinion of Giorgi Gemesi, mayor of Godolo, on strengthening EU citizenship and promoting EU citizens' electoral rights has been adopted. As Mr. Gemesi pointed out, the 2013 European Year of Citizens is a real opportunity to increase efforts to raise voter turnouts and make sure that all EU citizens of voting age are responsibly aware of their rights. Rodrigo Lin Thomas saw his opinion on creating greater synergies between EU, national and subnational budgets adopted by a large majority. On the second day of the committee's plenary session, the COR has adopted a resolution drafted by Marek Wozniak, in which they rejected cuts in cohesion funding and reiterate its consolidated position in support of a proper European cohesion policy. At the same time, regions and cities stress that democratic legitimacy needs to be ensured when developing the economic and monetary union. The EMU is vital to fostering sustainable growth, social progress and further political integration within the EU. In close cooperation with Rapporteur Jean-Paul de Nano, the Vice President of the European Commission responsible for competition insisted on the importance of modernizing EU state aid rules and the revision of current regional state aid guidelines. One of these elements that we need to think, having learned from the crisis experience, is that the public subsidies that promote investment in Europe's less developed areas can make a real difference. This 99th plenary session of the Committee of the Regions ended with the opinion of Maria Luisa Coppola, stressing one of the central themes of this plenary session, which is the importance of local and regional authorities in creating jobs and growth. In my opinion, the local and regional authorities are regarded as being most closely involved in active policies dealing with the economy, employment, training and making things easier for companies to have access to credit. The next plenary session will be held in Brussels on the 11th of April.